choice. Silences are some of us. You won't give another try. I'm on cover every night. I'm a clown. Well, I'm fucked. Five Nights at Freddy's has been out for eight years now. Wait, eight years? Fuck, I'm old. And for a franchise that's main gimmick was furry jump scares, it's done surprisingly well for itself. Now, the biggest reason behind that success is the story and the lore. FNAF has a complicated story, and that's me being generous. The story pieces from each game are vague, giving plans plenty to speculate on with each new installment. While a lot of theories have been widely accepted by the fandom at large, Nothing has been outright confirmed to my knowledge, which is awesome when you're trying to learn more of this shit. For those who don't know this series, here's the Cliff Notes version. This shithead here is William Afton, co-owner of Freddy Fazbear's Entertainment, also known as Purple Guy, Orange Guy, and oh, what was that other one? Oh yeah, a fucking murderer, cause the dude loves killing kids. Like, a lot of them? I don't know the exact number, but any number over zero is monstrous. His first victim was Charlotte, the daughter of Henry Emily, the other owner of Fazbear Entertainment. He killed his business partner's kid. That action is both deplorable and ballsy. This kid's soul, spirit, whatever you want to call it, ends up going into the puppet who ends up giving William's later victims the same upgrade. But before we get to them, let's go to the only dead kid in this entire series that William didn't kill. Evan Afton, better known as The Crying Child. Poor kid ends up getting chomped at his own birthday party, primarily because his brother's a bit of a dick. He ends up living after this event, barely mind you, but after making a cryptic promise with somebody, he ends up passing. Now, who is saying these words is still up to debate. I have my own theories on who could be speaking to him, but I'll save that for a different video. Regardless of who makes the promise, they end up sticking to it. Kind of. Evan ends up possessing the animatronic body of Golden Freddy, and later on gets a roomie. After a while, William Acton ends up getting trapped by the ghost of his victim, and has the brilliant idea to go into this spring lock suit that's been sitting out forever and covered in gross water. Truly foolproof. With their killer dead, the ghost children finally move on, knowing that the man behind their depths can never hurt anyone again. Psych! This motherfucker ends up possessing the suit he died in, now called Spingtrap, and he just does a lot more shit. Yay! Like a lot of shit. But enough about that, Afton, <laughs> the loser. Let's move on to the only... surviving... Afton? Michael Afton. The dude that accidentally did a murder, remember? Well, unlike dear old dad, Mike here actually didn't enjoy killing a child. Big shocker, right? He ends up dedicating his life to helping the spirits of his father's victims, and bro included, and fucking over his dad, even when this patch ends up with him being scooped and used as a meat puppet by a bunch of animatronics. He keeps going. What a freaking champ. Dude ends up teaming with Henry and Emily, remember that dude? Luring the animatronics to a brand new restaurant and burning the fucker down. And like captains in a sinking ship, Henry and Michael stay in the burning building, dying with their family and the other victims of William Afton. Although, once again, this motherfucker keeps being alive. Some people have the ingenious decision to upload his circuit boards into a fucking video game of all things, thus creating Glitch Trap, who then possesses a bunch of people through the game. Congratulations! Congratulations! Game devs. Yeah, yeah! Great job. Great job. Brilliant, brilliant, really. And then security breach happens, and we reach the current point in the timeline. Now I can get to what I actually want to fucking talk about. Remember Ethan? I mentioned how he shares his suit with another soul. This soul is Cassidy. Cassidy is an interesting character. She's a 
a bit peeved off from being murdered, which I don't blame her for. Instead of letting William rot in hell after a second little fire bath, Cassidy keeps him alive just so she can torture him. Ultimate Custom Night is basically this event, just Cassidy wrecking William's shit. I respect the brutality from this girl, you go, you go girl. But because she kept that fucker from passing on, he was able to transform to the digital version of Glitch Trap. So minus 50 points for that. Now, I could talk about her big screw up, how she possibly followed him into the digital world, and it may be hidden in security breach. But I don't really give a shit about any of that right now. What I want to talk about is what else Cassidy is called. She goes by two titles, the one being the Vengeful Spirit, very fitting, and the other is the one you should not have killed. I'm sorry, the one? Out of all the kids this asshole killed, she is the only one he shouldn't have? Why? If I had to pick any of his victims for that title, I'd pick Charlotte. But no, it's Cassidy and no one knows why. When animatronics speak in Ultimate Custom Night, it's like themselves. Meaning they're using eyes and speaking shit only they know. Like with her Chica talking about her being the first of the missing children incidents. I was the first. I have seen everything. And quite a few of them call Cassidy the one you should not have killed. So they also agree? Was she in the wrong place at the wrong time? Did she have evidence on William and he disposed of her because of it? Did she literally walk in on him murdering someone? There is very little we know about Cassidy, and for her to have that title, it's really weird. It almost makes me think it's not for her. But who else could it be for? I mean, we see Golden Freddy at the end of Ultimate Custom Night, so it has to be her, right? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about him. Honestly, out of the two of them, it makes more sense for Evan, aka the crying child, to be the one you should not have killed. For one, Evan's murder was a complete mistake. His death wasn't intentional. Plus, a few of the animatronics refer to him and how they're friends. Evan is the only person to have that kind of connection with these characters. It makes so much sense for him to be the one you should not have killed. Except William had nothing to do with his death Michael did. So fuck that, I guess. We're back to square one. This mystery of Cassidy is just gonna end up like phone guy. Forgotten about. I still want an answer, goddammit. Well, I'm not dead yet, so I guess we can move on to another grievance I have. The Gregory is a robot theory. I'll be honest, I hate this theory for two reasons. One, it's fucking dumb. And two, it reminds me of something I'd rather forget about. Alice. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. The quote-unquote evidence of him being a robot is weak at best. One major point for this theory is this scene. For your new eyes. I am having a hard time adjusting. You look different to me. Now, Gregory looking different for Freddy could be for a number of reasons, and him having an exoskeleton is one, I guess. Another one being him being weirdly outlined like all the other shit around the pizza place. Or, you know, Gregory's bones. If I could just randomly start seeing people's skeletons, that'd be a weird transition, wouldn't it? There's also the fact that whenever Gregory is around Fanny, this weird tape glitching and annoying ass sound plays. Some people think that's Gregory's animatronic eyes being affected by an illusion disc that Fanny is using. Illusion discs are these little chips that were introduced in the book series. They can trick people into hearing, seeing, etc. other senses, other shit that's not there. 
However, Freddy's eyes, aka animatronic eyes, cannot see Danny at all. What was that? That is a fountain. A fountain is a decorative reservoir used for discharging water. Not the fountain. He didn't see the dancing rabbit lady right in front of us? No, I did not. So if animatronic eyes can't see her, but Gregory's can, what does that tell you? And before anyone brings it up, yes, Roxy's eyes can see him as we know from the one ending. But it's stated in the game that these are new eyes. I doubt that Gregory's eyes would have that level of advancement considering he's homeless and he has been for a good while. If he is a robot, who the fuck is upgrading him? It's likely that Vanny has the disc set so animatronics can't see her, but didn't account for human eyes. And the whole him getting into the charging station with Freddy thing, got it. This is a video game. A rushed one at that. They either didn't think about it or thought it would be too inconvenient to not do. Because Gregory is not using that charge pad to charge himself. We see his little crash pad in a few areas of the game with a sleeping bag on the ground. For sleeping. You know, the way we humans charge ourselves? But wait, there's broken security bots around. <gasps> that must mean Gregory destroyed them for parts. Further proving he's a robot. Or they found him and he decommissioned them so they couldn't rat him out. The security bots look completely different from the animatronics. I doubt you could use either parts on the other. They're just too different. So yeah, all the evidence of him being a robot either has a simpler explanation or is just wrong. Now this theory actually has two parts. Full theory is that Gregory is a robot of the crying child, AKA Evan Afton. And him being Evan, does make some sense. At least nothing contradicts it for me to not believe it. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, how can you disagree with the robot theory, but agree that Gregory equals crying child part? Crying child is dead. If he's Gregory, he's gotta be a robot. What other explanation can there be? Simple. I think Gregory is Evan Afton reincarnated. Don't boo me! This series has time-traveling ball pits, human minds transferring to video game worlds a la Code Lyoko, and canon Empreg. I think a soul reincarnating is a too much of a stretch. As a final nail in the coffin of the robot part, another piece of evidence states that in the FNAF book series, it's super common for dead children to be remade as robots. And the book canon has intersected with the uh, video game canon quite a few times. So people think William Afton rebuilt his dead son. Mmm, no. So first off, the book characters who did do this were the Henry Emily counterparts. The first one literally being he Henry in the Silver Eyes novels. And the second being Dr. Talbert, who tried using Remnant to heal his sick daughter. Since so these are Henry's counterparts and not William's, plus the fact that dude fucking loves killing kids, I don't see that as compelling evidence. Now to get to my theory. When Henry and Michael burned down the pizza restaurant in Pizza Simulator, this included Golden Freddy. While we don't see the yellow bear in game, in Henry's epic speech, he mentions luring all the animatronics to this place. And since Cassidy is one of the missing five children, and she's a part of Golden Freddy, he's there. Now, Cassie heard that speech, said fuck that, and decided to keep on torturing William. But Evan had no reason to hold on. So, like the other spirits, he didn't. And I'm not just bullshitting, I have some proof. Remember how William was able to turn into Glitch Trap? By scanning the animatronic surfboards into the video game that those stupid assholes were making. He wasn't the only one to come over, though. BAM! Many know this character as Princess, the hero of Princess Quest. These three games are located around the pizza plex in the security breach. Playing them in order unlocks the free Vanny ending. But this character actually has another name. In the files of the game 
Sprite is actually called Cassidy. Everyone talks about how William always keeps coming back. No one talks about how this kid can hold a fucking grudge. I love it. For Cassidy to be here, that must mean shit from Golden Freddy was scanned into the games as well. And if that's true, then where is Evan? He's not anywhere in the games. He didn't get scanned because he was already gone. Moved on in the form of a new human life, Gregory. Even his sister, the spirit who possessed baby, also moved on. So yeah, Gregory is Evan, but he's not a robot. You know, I found all this evidence without playing a single game. Just go to old-fashioned research. I wonder how much more I could find if I play the game. Should I play Security Breach? Well, guess it's my time. Bring it on, you shitty furry bait. <laughs> nice try, assholes. Maybe another night. I gotta ask for a fucking raise.